Have you ever been in a pub when you have a conversation and you, you do hypotheticals, don't you? So one of the hypotheticals that you do is if you only had months to live, what would you do, do with your time? That's the question that I was faced with um, this morning. My question to the doctor was then, okay, you know, how long have I got? He turned around and said, well, we're looking at three to six months. The nurse was in tears, the doctor was almost in tears, Kate was in tears, and it was all obviously quite an emotionally charged thing. In that moment, it, it feels a little bit like an out-of-body experience, like you're watching a movie. So there was a moment I'm sat there, and it didn't feel like it was happening to me. But then at the same time, just in my brain, it was like, right, okay, what am I going to do now? The only thing I can do is think positively. That was the only way to deal with it. Am I scared of death? No. And I think part of it is because I don't think of it in a negative way. You know, if I don't think of it in a negative way, I don't create negative feelings about it. You'll have mornings where you wake up, you know, you feel tired, you feel down, you're not motivated. You might feel mentally drained, you might feel physically drained, but you've got a choice. Do you carry on with that attitude of feeling tired, of feeling mentally drained. You can do that, but what have you achieved? But at the same time, if you wake up with exactly those the same symptoms of feeling mentally tired, feeling emotionally tired, but you say, right, I'm gonna choose just to be positive, as hard as it is, then actually you will have a better day because it's all in your head. My situation is no different to anyone else's on the planet. We're all going to die at some point. It's a fact of life. My life is just going to end quicker. Therefore, if there's things I want to do, I better get them done quicker because I have less time on Earth. But that's it. That's the only difference.